Hi, it's Lopez Designs here, um, and today I'll just be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a meta ball, um, which I'm sure maybe quite a few of you have been wanting to know how to do. Um, so yeah, I'll just I'll be using a sphere. You can use a cube, a platonic, a pyramid, whatever shape you want. It'll it'll turn out differently for each and every one of you. So yeah, now you just want to get a sphere. I'll just lower the actually no the, the size is fine. I might actually lower it. And so now you just want to, when you have sphere selected, go to MoGraph, go to Cloner, and make that a child of that. Now if you head to Cloner, so we'll just drag that up. Yep. Now when you're in Cloner, just change this to anything you want. I normally use grid array because that's kind of the what I like, or well, that's the best in my opinion. Um, you can change how many cubes there are on either axis, so yeah, but I'll just keep that to 3. Um, and now with Cloner selected, go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. Now this will randomize all the circles coming out of the Cloner, which clones the circles, which makes them random. And now with Cloner selected, go to this kind of weird little thingy here, go to Metaball, hold either Alt or Option, and then that'll make it a child of that. Now in meta, in the metable thing, you can change this up to 400, whatever you want really. Um, put that onto about 8, I use 8. Um, now on sphere, you could just make that a bit, um, a bit smaller or larger. And on random, if you make all of these zero, you'll make it into a kind of square thing. So now if we go back to the start, chuck a material on there, if we render it, um, it'll look pretty nice. So yeah, so now that's just a basic circle. Now if we go to random, chuck keyframes on each of these. Then we head to about, oh, whoops. yeah. So uh, then we head to about 40. Change all these values to whatever you want, really. I'm just going to be doing that, I guess. Chuck keyframes on there. So you hold uh, Command when you click them, and that'll make a keyframe. So now when we play it, it'll just kind of ooze a bit. Now if we go to 80, I make that a bit more extreme. So just kind of break them apart. Uh, click on everything there. Maybe lower that even a bit more. And now if we click on play, it will just do that. So yeah, it basically just does a bunch of different stuff. If I hit render now, You'll see that it looks pretty good. So you can have um, a bunch of different uh, like effects if you want. You can add solids to it so that after it kind of turns into a bunch of balls, it just drops to the ground. You can have text or whatever you want. Um, you can add a meta ball or a clone into a text, and then you can have it go into a singular one, which looks pretty nice. Um, done a bit of experimenting with that, uh, but yeah. So. Yeah, that looks pretty nice with the different colors. I have a bunch of panels up there, which is this. Um, I am, I'm not using Grayscale Gorilla's rainbow thing. I made this myself. Um, I did use his L Studio, uh, and then I put my own colors on there. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you want to check out my other videos, my other tutorials, I don't have any up at the moment, but I am going to be putting up a pretty long real flow one, which is going to take me a few days to make it is quite complicated. Um, so if you have any suggestions or ideas you'd like me to do, just contact me. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy your days. Bye-bye. Um,